Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a pretty much, pretty much, full face using only makeup I have gotten sent. Or, no, I'm probably going to tile it makeup I've gotten for free. There we go. Okay, that's a weird angle. So I'm going to be doing a full face of products that I got for free. Pretty much full face. As you can tell, I've already done my eyebrows. They look so so bad today. Don't even look at them. Just, just don't even look at them. They look so janky. Look, this one's long. This one's short. I'm going to take this all off after I'm done. I have to film this video really fast and I filmed a video of an eyebrow tutorial and I only did this eyebrow and then this one I had to do super fast right before I filmed this. So we're just not even going to acknowledge my eyebrows today. Like they're non-existent. Just don't look at them. Anyways, I'm not trying to brag by this at by any means. Most of the stuff I've gotten sent from Octoly. And Octoly, if you know what it is, just Google it. it. It'll give you a better explanation than I can give you right now. And then the rest are like, they're like sample size products. Anyways, I'll tell you how I got them for free when I get into the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and by the way, while we're doing this, I have to have a little snack because I'm hungry. So we're gonna be eating some fries and some Pepsi. We went for a really healthy option today. So yeah. Okay. So the first thing is primer. There's actually two that I could choose from today. I have the Sacha Mattifier Face Primer, and I also have the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And I think today, since we're gonna go for a more matte or, or like drying foundation, I think we're gonna go for the Becca one. This I think is my favorite primer. It's super duper good, because it, I still have mascara on. Oh well, I don't even have I don't even have a mascara that I got for free. Yes, I do. I don't really know. We're just gonna forget mascara today. Wow, you can already tell that I'm like super rushing this, but oh well. But this was sent from Octoly. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Pure Bare All 12 Hour, no, 12 Hour 4-in-1 foundation. I have the shade Porcelain. This was sent to me through Octoly. The packaging is super cool. The product ex itself, I don't know how I like it. I've used it once and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. And I think it's because I used a lot. So I think with this, less is more because it looked cakier than any other foundation I've ever tried. And I don't do cakey. Like cakey is just not a good look. So I didn't like that, but it smells really good. This also, you might be thinking it looks really dark for a porcelain, but once you blend it in, it ends up getting lighter. But yeah, so pretty much I'm just going to be putting it anywhere I want to even out my skin tone. So like right here, I just want to get this redness away because we're going to add it back with blush. Should probably use this more to give my full thoughts on. But like it's not bad by any means, but it's not my favorite. Also, this is definitely too light for me. I should have got a shade or two up and it doesn't help that I had a track meet for seven hours or more. Um, So I definitely got Tanner, which I'm not mad about, but... This foundation does not look good on me right now. I look like a ghost. Okay, sadly, I don't have a concealer, so I'm just gonna use the Wet n Wild concealer. This is my favorite concealer. I love it so much. I think I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. I'm not going for a super crazy look today. So we're about to leave for my aunt's wedding. Her wedding is on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So it's really exciting, and like I'm really excited, but I hate packing, and I have to pack after I film this video and I'm procrastinating so much. If you guys know me, I procrastinate like no other, literally. That's my, the worst aspect about myself. But anyways, I'm not just gonna use some Rimmel Stay Matte because I don't have a powder, but it's okay. Just set my face with some Rimmel Stay Matte. Now I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, the way I got this was when I ordered off of Too Faced and so this came as a sample. I'm pretty sure every time you order from them, they give you some sample things. Okay, anyways, about the wedding again. One of the reasons I'm super excited is because I'm doing my aunt's makeup for her wedding. Like, how cool is that? Like, I'm literally doing the bride's makeup. And I'm doing her hair too. I'm not sure how that's gonna turn out, but it's super duper cool that she wanted me to do it. Um, she ended up getting it done somewhere else. So I went over and I did it as a practice run. And now I get to actually do it for her wedding. Anyways, we're getting super off topic, but it's okay. Now I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. 
and this is in the shade party this i got for free because it was the sephora like birthday gift this is super duper cool that they put it as a gift because literally many many tar blushes or tar blushes in general they last forever so i've used this blush so many times and can you tell i made a dent in it not at all but i've used it so much so tar blushes last forever that's why they're some of my favorite blushes and i absolutely love blush so the shade is also super pretty i'm glad it wasn't like a hot pink because i just don't do hot pink blushes okay now for highlighter i'm using the becca gradient glow highlighter um this was actually sent to me through octoly not too long ago but this is gorgeous so i just use the shade called the lightest shade right there it's called moonstone super pretty highlighter oh my gosh this is so pretty also it's a super pretty shade um to add to your, your brow bone not like i want to emphasize these brows any more than they are and inner corner on days that i'm doing my makeup but i don't want to take too much time i'll just throw some bronzer in the crease which i'm about to do and i'll just highlight my inner corner and brow bone with my highlighter that I used. It makes it so much easier and it looks like you tried, but really it took like two seconds. So I was going to use the Chocolate Subway Bronzer in my crease, but I decided, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a major risk, but I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Coverage Concealer, um, just a concealer, but it's in the shade Extra Deep. So I got this from Octoly and it was the last shade that they had, but I really wanted to try this, try out this concealer. I usually would use it as a liquid contour if I'm feeling really extra, but right now I'm going to put it on my eyes. This could go terribly wrong. Like, I don't know what to expect with this. But I'm just throwing it, like, on my eye. I don't really have a plan for this. Just... Okay. It's, like, not that bad. I would really like this concealer if it was my shade for like under my eyes okay honestly that's not bad that's not bad at all i don't know why i was making such a big deal about it lastly wow this actually went by really fast um for lips i'm going to be using this set i got this set sent to me through octoly um it's the grande lips most loved nude plumpers these are super cool i'm going to be using this shade so pretty much what it is is you open it up and then you just click the bottom once you keep using them, um, they're supposed to make your lips more plump over time. So, like, it's supposed to work around, like, after, like, three months. Either your lips are supposed to be more plump than they were before you started using them. I haven't used them day after day after day. Because I personally don't usually use lip products that often. But these are really good. And they're not sticky at all. I just think they're really good lip glosses. I used the shade Sunbaked Sedona. It also comes with two other shades. So, they have... The one I just used, which I really like, and then it comes with the original clear one. And it also comes with this one, which is also super pretty. It's more like pinky color, and it is called Spicy Moth. The cool thing I like about them is that it's a plumping lip gloss, but I don't really like plumping stuff because it makes a really tingling effect, and I don't really like that personally. So I think this is the final look. <laughs> Again, we're just not going to look at these eyebrows. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you wanted me to do more videos, like full face videos or something like that, or I don't know, anything like that, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'll never stop, bye, bye, bye.